stop. <laughs> Monitor and output. My, all my settings, all my settings fucked up. Output. You can, is it fine now? Because I can hear myself. Apply. I got desktop audio. Oh, I see it's doubled. How's that? Nope. Hello. 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 Oh, I'm very angry. I have to whisper because I can hear myself. Hello. I can hear you too. Hello. What the fuck? I'm gonna take this one off. <laughs> Hello. Okay, I don't hear myself. Hello? And I see- I, hear, I do. I hear you can I hear, hear me on stream? I somebody, gotta plug in my headphones to find out. Somebody have their- <laughs> Do you have your volume up? No, I had- uh, double it put in an extra desktop audio and an extra mic uh, out of nowhere because OBS likes to do that shit however okay. I think I think I'm okay now but I don't have my headphones out to check I, I do uh, it sounds good on Twitch yeah I just heard you say I don't have my headphones out to check all right, hello everybody. We're back. <laughs> Welcome to technical, technical disaster. difficulties. I'm getting two. I'm not. I'm hearing you, and then I hear you, and then I hear Jason, and I hear Jason. Do you have the stream up on your computer? Oh. Because everything. Oh sounds shit. Good you know what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Say Ar something now. Arky fuck up. Arky fuck up. I was like, why? Am <laughs> okay, yep. My, my stream is <laughs> on mute. Okay, so welcome everybody to We Don't Know Shit. <laughs> We're just I'm here to have fun. I'm Arky playing Red Hello, Eye. Arky. And apparently I don't know how to run Twitch, so <laughs> my bad. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. I'm, I'm Jason. Go. Oh, wow. Go, go, oh, go. Go. All right. I'm Jason. I'm playing Calvary. He's the, 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 the lawman and the somewhat, no, I don't want to say straight shooter because he probably couldn't hit the broadside of a barn if he was was asked to straight shooter and cavalry do not mix i am shannon or ms direction on twitch um i'm playing zara she's kind of a loner um my brain farted person it's for hire it's not bad. edge runner it's not bad. on tiktok also what isn't that also you isn't ms direction also your username on tiktok yeah ttv yeah because okay. Ms. Direction was taken, and I have to hunt her oh. down and threaten her. Yeah. Her real <laughs> friends know her real Twitch channel. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, I'm Scott, otherwise known as uh, Fiberpunk on uh, uh, some Discord servers, some not. And we are here to play the second part of a adventure called Top Shelf. We started it last week, and um, we're not going to go over all of our house rules every week, but I would like uh, at the beginning of each show to uh, touch on something. Like this time, I wanted to mention that uh, we discussed it before we started, and we came to the consensus that we wanted this game to be rated T for teen. There will be some uh, rough language, and um, I've been told to <laughs> rein in my graphic descriptions of critical injuries. Maybe I told that to myself. I don't remember. Really? <laughs> But because this is cool. not a this, T this, for teen group, we're like an is, M. This, we are a rated M. NC 17. Mm -hmm. Okay, then that's what we're doing. <laughs> 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 yeah, Nick, Nick has it for this is an 18 plus channel, so oh, okay, glad we went over that. <laughs> I was like, did I miss something? <laughs> I was like, when did we get Steve Dawes back? <clears throat> no, I I probably just misremembered. Oh, it was from back good. in our session zero when we last talked about it, which, like you guys said, was months ago. It's all good. All right. <laughs> I don't think okay, they'd like us. I don't think anybody would like us if we were T for teen. I was pretty miserable as a teenager. I would not like myself. Mm. Oh, I'm oh. telling you. I got two girls I have to deal with at that age. <laughs> okay. Uh, this adventure is available for download. I think it's safe for me to say that in front of my players now. Um, you can download it from John John the Wise's uh, Discord server. I'll be right it's back. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go download it. <laughs> Sorry, what's it called? What? <laughs> That joke went right over my head. Uh, that was... It's called Top Shelf. And it's available as a PDF. And uh, when we left off, our three edge runners had decided to take a job to steal a bottle, at minimum one bottle, of vodka from a oh, corporate case, party. Baby. Yeah, they decided to go after a full case. How many or bottles more. are in the case? Twelve. It depends, but this is normally twelve. That Thank was a you. Guess. I, hold on one <laughs> second. Hi, Thor. And yes, G, oh, rated hey. G for good lord, can they actually say that? All right, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> pee pee poo poo. Kaka. <laughs> So, anyway, uh, more specifically, when we left off, uh, Red Eye was outside in uh, the limousine, um, and he was, uh, excuse me, she was uh, still uh, fighting her way through the net architecture. At the same right. time, uh, uh, what's Navarro's code name again? Avalanche cavalry. Cavalry, yeah. <laughs> cavalry. Cavalry yep. and Zara uh infiltrated the party um in caterer uniforms and they got down to the basement where they found all of the stored booze. This is a Sav oil party, and uh they are there early. They showed up before the guests were scheduled to arrive. So, who wants to pick up where we left off? I remember we, we were watching somebody um, basically talk down to, I think it's little Timmy, who did some sort of programming or something. Yes. Timur. Yes. Timur, Timur, Timur. And yeah. who you called Tiamat. So, we're going to call him Tiamat now. <sighs> oh, Lord. Maybe I don't want to talk to him then. <laughs> but yes, uh, 
when um, he stops getting talked down to and yelled at, I think I might want to work that angle. Hey. All right, let's go there then. Uh, the head of security, Hardcastle, uh, is a big guy in a cheap suit. Um, he's been chewing out um, this uh, scrawny little uh, tech named Tamir. And you're down in the basement, which is Tamir's living space and his engineering lab. And it's also where uh, a lot of the supplies, like the booze, are being stored. So Hardcastle um, sort of does one of these steps into Tamir a little bit and makes him flinch. And then he turns around and he walks back. And he walks back up the stairs. What is and Tamir doing? he never doing? even makes eye contact with the two of you. Well, we're the help. We don't matter. What's Tamir doing after Hardcastle walks away? Pulling out his own hair. Oh. And doing something in Ukrainian. Okay, well, I care as a person. Zara doesn't care. But she's going to act like she does. She's going to run up and try to kind of gently touch his shoulders and say, Hey, 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 it's okay. All right. Uh, He's going to take a step back and do a huge dramatic flinch. And he's going to pull out a a gadget of uh, wires that looks like an inside out flashlight. And... Hold it against him and hold it against himself in defense. Like, oh. I will kind of no, step back a li- little bit, and I'll actually kind of come down to his level, so I'm less threatening, and say, "I'm I'm not here to hurt you. I just witnessed what just happened, and I want to make sure you're okay." You are Americans, Californians. Uh. Yes. Can I start speaking in Russian? Yep. English, Russian, street speak. Okay, so you're, you're fluent in all of it. Do I have Cabal to do I have to pull it out now? All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say brother, I I am I am like I can't do it right now. I'm like you. <laughs> I I am but from don't. I am from motherland. That was weird. Vodka. Vodka. <laughs> well, what, vodka. Vodka. The nuclear vessels what? in the Alameda. But yes, I'll say that in Russian to try to gain his trust. Like, okay. I, I may be American, but I actually hail from a different place like you. Okay. Let's try an exercise. We're, we're not attempting anything that sounds remotely like a real Russian accent here. <laughs> uh Try to say uh, the Tim Curry line from Command and Conquer. I don't. I've never seen that. Into the last place that is still uncorrupted by capitalism. Spice. <laughs> Spice. <laughs> borgy, borgy, chicken, chicken. <laughs> mork, 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 chicken, mork, mork. Yeah, now that sounds good to me. <laughs> but basically, that's what I'm gonna tell him. I forgot I had to pull Russian out. <laughs> and while, while, while she's doing that with little Timmy, I'm looking, I'm scoping out, making sure that, that would see if there's like any security cameras. And I'm going to start, okay. One bottle under, two bottles up. One bottle under, two bottles up. <laughs> Is a security camera in the corner? It does not look like it's powered on. It has no lights running to it. How old is little so, yeah. Timmy? Twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh, I think I asked that last time. He kind of acts like a child, though, right? Like stunted. I uh, at the moment he's acting like a nervous wreck. Okay. Did me speaking to him in Russian help at all? I, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he, um, not acting like you're a snake trying to bite him anymore. Okay. And he asked uh, if you're uh, if you're Californian. Am I? 
No, I'm Russian. Yeah, yeah. You guys all live in the free state of North California. No cow, baby. You're Californians I, now. I, I currently reside in California, but I am from motherland like you. Are you okay? California. Do you speak English? Because I cannot keep this up. I mean, it's slowly getting better, but right now it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's garbage. I speak the English. I speak English. I do. I ah. speak English because I started learning when I was told that I would come here um, to work for Sav Oil. But then I, I've been in this basement for two years now. Two years. Would you like us to maybe help you get out of here? If you can take me out, I will... One thousand euro dollars. Ah, uh, done. I have the money, but you have only minutes to do this. Okay. In minutes, they are going to take me upstairs, and they are going to present me to the uh, upper management, and then I will be put on the aerodyne that will fly me out to sea, and then they take me to Moscow, and I will never see the West again. Does he fit under the cart with the case of booze? It'd be a little lumpy. Um, not so, with the case. Not both at the same time. I got a question. Am I currently yes. still fighting? Or am I... Can I help them find a route out? You can... Yes, you can do that from where you are. And no, you are not currently in combat. Uh, if you go to the next floor up in the net architecture, you're going to be in a big combat because there are two black ice up there waiting for you next. Okay. But so, they're just sitting there waiting for you. Calorie. I patch in to Zara. Okay. Um, hold on, I'm going to try to find an exit point for you guys. Calvary, can you oh. handle the booze on your own if I get little Timmy out of here? Yeah. I mean, it'll be a price? little under rusks. Yeah. I'm What what's the price? Twenty five K. How much? Twenty five K. Oh hell yeah, I start working extra hard now. <laughs> I lowballed her. Did I say twenty five? No, you said a hundred thousand. I thought. I said a thousand. Oh shit! <laughs> I heard a hundred thousand. I heard what I wanted to hear. I thought you were converting something from. Uh... <laughs> Wait, we're only doing this for a thousand. It's it's a it's an extra That's thousand, man. Long. That's like rent and a burger. Come on. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Ah, screw it. It's Corpos, of course. <laughs> well, none of you are a fixer. So, uh, fixer's role ability would uh, be to uh, negotiate a higher price oh. um, without having to roll for it. But you are a... Uh, actually, I think they do have to roll for it, but it's a lot easier for the fixers. Uh, you do have a persuasion skill. You've got uh, you may or may not have a business skill. I have persuasion. You can use of those to ask or to ask for more money. Okay, I will. All right. Should I like say what I'm gonna say first? I don't care. Roll or say. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, do I add any cool to it? Is going to be yeah, the DV is going to be fairly high. It's going to be like a 15. So I add cool? Yes. Um, that's a 6. 14. I rolled a 20. Ooh, okay. He says, if you take me to the uh, corporate headquarters for Petrochem in Night City, they... Then they know of me there. They will take me in. Is 
is business rival of Sav Oil. It, they will take me there. If you can take me to corporate headquarters in Night City, I will pay you 2,000 euro dollars. It's all I have. Really? That's all you have with all this engineering you're doing? I, I take my tools. They could still take be under the, communist take rule robots, in this. Take the drones, just take it. They could be under authoritarian rule in this game. We don't know. I don't want your tools. I will help you. Red Eye, is there a back way out of here? Can you maybe give us a heads up on security to get this young man out? All right. So, are we in a? We're in a basement, right? Right now, yeah. Is there yeah, a way only to? One... There is only uh, one staircase going in and out of the basement. And I don't know how you're getting a cart up and down there. I'm just, it's a cart <laughs> on spider legs. I thought of that last time. There's no windows or anything in here? I thought I thought there would have been at least like a, a, a service elevator or a dumbwaiter of some sort. <laughs> Pay me a luck point and there'll be a dumbwaiter. All right, there's a luck, there's a luck point. <laughs> okay. Okay, yep, yeah, you've got a you've got a dumb waiter. It connects the basement to the kitchen. All and right, could... uh, when you're on the ground floor, there are three exits. There's the front door, there's a side door that goes off to the porch, and the back door through the kitchen. So, Red Eye, can you cause some sort of alarm or disturbance to go off in the kitchen so perhaps we can clear it out real quick while I take him up in the dumb waiter? Yeah, boy. I clapped right. Timmy on the back and I'm like, don't worry. Do not worry. We will get you where you need to go. I want to set off all the fire sprinklers in the building. The whole building? No, Red Eye. They're going to come looking for this kid. Just the kitchen. How but about the... If how she's about not where listening all the to me... How about where all the hoity-toity people are? We do it there. Oh, they're all running out the front door. We can head out the back. Well, I mean, Red Eye, I can't make you do anything. You're the one tapped into the system, so. That's right. All right, we're, we're going for a quick getaway, right? So right now, I'm just standing downstairs waiting to hear a commotion. I do not know what I'm Red like, Eye's doing. I'm like, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Where'd we park the car? You're in, the, in car. the car. <laughs> like Red Eye, did you forget where you're at? We parked it oh. inside because we told them that we were wait staff and they just let us in. Oh yeah, I'm in, I am in the car. <laughs> You've been plugged in too long. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> um Calvary has been uh racking uh bottles in the cart this whole time, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so okay. we're parked. We're parked at the sir. We're the help, so we would be in the back of the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna cause a diversion in the front of the building. As soon as you hear, Ooh. or you know what's, you'll hear people screaming. Probably, that's your cue to go out the back fucking door. Okay. But it might take us a couple trips to get all three of us up in the dumb waiter. It's not a big I'm gonna give one, a couple bottle I, I I'm gonna give a couple bottles to, to, to Timmy and say, take these up with you just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And we and, uh, are real going... quick, I would actually like to go up first so I can watch Timmy's back. I don't want to send Timmy and I'm gonna first. Say, and I'm going to give a couple bottles to you like, just in case. I'll, <laughs> I'll tuck him in my apron. My service apron. And three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh no, time out. <laughs> time out. What's up, Scott? Uh, you're going to have to make some rolls to accomplish this. Oh, sure. He tried. <laughs> I tried to get it over. I tried. Sorry, guys. 
where you are in the net architecture, uh, you're a couple of levels up. Um, but to actually uh, to reach that control node that you saw, uh, which might control the alarms, might control the uh, drone that's flying around outside, might control everything. Uh, you're going to have to get past those two black ice. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so while she's I'm doing this, we're look. downstairs looking at our watch, like, what the fuck is taking her so long? <laughs> Two grand and five cases of booze. Here we go. Five? Five cases. One case. <laughs> I've loaded up more than that. I've loaded, as I said, while you're talking, I was just going, like I said, I was doing one bottle under, two bottles up. Just one bottle under, two. I'm, I'm up to at least three cases now, plus the two that you've got and the two that Timmy's got. So. All right, let's do this. Okay, there is a raven and a saber tooth above you. Uh, a raven is, uh, you know, from reputation is a cheap anti-personnel black ice. The Sabertooth is a is a fairly potent uh, anti-program black ice. But you have right. your ASP with you, which is another cheap anti-program device. My Kilroy Beta, baby. Oh, that's not it. What was it? Oh, uh, it. What did we call it? Hold on a minute. Oh, Can go. you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, something fucked up. What? Okay. This is gonna take about uh, five minutes of that combat to resolve. Um, five minutes in real a initiative roll. Well, it is an initiative roll. The black eyes are just using their speed stat against you. So Unless you're going to try to sneak past them. Interface. Uh, if I sneak past them, am I going to be able to get everybody out? Yeah. Do I have... Yeah, uh, you're... Pro, uh, your cyber deck, if you remember, is set up for uh, uh, strong attacks right now. It's not set up to help you sneak past anything. So it's going to be uh, just your die roll if you take that route. But if you do, you only have to get you only have to make one die roll to get past them. Let's do that. Okay. Let's see. Perception of the ravens, not bad. Uh, perception of the saber tooth is worse. Okay. Uh, roll your ten sider. Uh, add your interface. Just do it once, and don't forget that you've got luck points. Okay. Against the raven, you're only going to have to beat a nine. Against the saber tooth, you're going to. Oh, you're only going to have to beat a 10. Okay, so is uh, our interface, is that a 5? Yes, it... your interface is a 5 right now. Interface is a 5. Yeah, just okay. So the one that I have to get a, ten, a 9 on, I got a 10. Okay. So I beat it. I beat that one by 1. Okay. You only have to roll once, but uh, uh, rolling twice is fine. Go ahead and do it that way. Okay, and I got a le an 11 on the second roll. Ooh, you squeaked by. That, was... that could not have possibly been closer, but it was a success. You are... <laughs> okay. And that's exactly what it looked like <laughs> in virtual <Yep>. reality. <laughs> <laughs> Red Eye is sneaking up these 
is sneaking uh, right behind the Sabretooth and the Raven as they're looking at something else. And they sort of glide downward as, as if he's going up a virtual elevator. And what comes into sight, sight coming down at the, at the level above them is a control panel. A virtual control panel that's floating in space in front of you. I am and it God. does look like... Yeah, it does not control the flying drone. It does look like it controls uh, the house security system. So that's where you can turn on an alarm. That's where you can turn on sprinklers. That's where you could lock the doors. While she's doing this, can I... Remotely. While she was doing this, could I be heading up to the kitchen already? Just to be ready. Did you not hear me, Arky? No, you I can hear you. I can't hear Shannon. She was talking. Oh. Can Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not hearing you either, nope, Shannon. I can't hear you Fuck! either. I saw that. <laughs> Can you hear me she now? Yes. yes. Okay, my goddamn like extender t was like, oh, we don't recognize this right in the middle of stream. So, anyway, check, check, yeah. check, check, check. Okay. All right. Okay, I, okay. What I wanted to say real quick is, while she's doing this hacking, could I head be heading up to the kitchen to be ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. I got a question. It just came into my brain. Yes. Can I lock the Can doors? Find your brain? And turn on the sprinkler system? Yes. So I lock the doors. I have to roll okay. for that? Uh, yeah, you're going... You only have to make one uh, die roll to... Uh, con to um, Take possession of the control node and do whatever you want and do whatever you want to do with it. But from where you are here, you can see that there are two black ice below you that you snuck past, and there's also an opponent net runner above you. And he is remote piloting a drone right now. Okay. So I want to just concentrate on getting everybody the hell out of there okay so i'm gonna try to lock the doors and then drown the motherfuckers okay uh this is going to be another interface roll let okay. me look up the difficulty for that real quick because i believe that it's Based on the... I am the greatest net runner on the face of this planet. That you're buying. Or so I will be soon. Yeah. What, what would be even funnier is instead of it being water, it's like that halo uh, anti... Um, that that kind of just sucks the air or uh, takes the place of oxygen in the <laughs> in the room. I was thinking, I was thinking acid. Eh, I wasn't going that that devious, but we're in not, here, you know. Not in a party house, unfortunately. If you're it, if you are inside a server farm, yeah, definitely. Okay. But this is kind of a, a resort destination, so yeah, they just use water piped in from the wells, and um, this is going to be an interface roll. You're DV is only an 8, so you only have to roll a 9 or higher. Thirteen. Adequate. <laughs> and then some. Okay, <laughs> before this goes off, uh, let's go back to Cavalry and Zara. Because uh, they... Because Zara did make it up to the kitchen. Uh, is Cavalry on the move or is he waiting in the basement i'm waiting in the basement with uh with timmy okay because timmy's Come gonna back. go up the timmy's gonna go up the dumbwaiter first isn't he or is he or is he are we sending him up the steps zara 
I thought we were going to sneak him up the dumb waiter because I figured that, like, Hardcastle and his team is probably watching the steps. Or they're going to be coming down the steps at some point to get him, so I thought we could sneak him up past them through the kitchen. Okay. But you and I could go up the steps no problem. Might be a little difficult for me with the with the full uh, cart now. Well, you know I mean? he said the full. cart fit in the dumbwaiter, right? Right, but I still have to wait. Because I, I... you said that's how we get the cart down. I said spider legs on the cart. Oh, okay. Well, you could cause a diversion going up the stairs with the cart in case the security comes. And I could be in the kitchen raising Timmy up with the dumb. Yeah, that, that works. I, I could I can be going, taking it up, and it's like, well, I'm trying to deliver. I'm, I'm bringing the booze up. <laughs> Get out of my way. The rich people need to drink. trying to come down. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's the plan. As soon as the diversion starts, I'm going to start raising that dumb waiter, and we've told Timmy to wait inside of it. Since uh, Zara is upstairs, uh, she sees what's happening uh, with the rest of the party. The guests have begun arriving now, so you see um, a few uh, rich people. Uh, you see them uh, in the den and uh, the library that are visible from the kitchen. And uh, once in a while, one of them will stumble into the kitchen to grab some food. They showed up drunk. So they're already pickled. So the diversion should be easy. Yeah, they're in a uh, fancy dress. Um, they are shooting up uh, their own uh, homemade designer drugs in the air hypos. One of them is sitting on the couch with a couple of uh, exotic joy toys, and I mean uh, a cat girl and a bunny girl, who have been uh, surgically augmented with animal ears. So these get so these people are partying hard, and Zara, I would like you to give me one perception roll. Uh, the DV is going to be 13. <clears throat> Let's see if you find anything potentially useful. Perception. Do Or if you recognize anyone. Yeah, it's going to be, I think, intelligence plus perception plus a D10. Well, okay, my perception is 13 plus 7 is 20 plus my intelligence is 27. Uh, if your perception is 13, then it already has the intelligence... Well, then it's a 20. (laughs) Okay. Okay. More than adequate. And guys, do let me know if you ever roll a natural 1 or a natural 10 on your die. Okay. What? Then you die? Then we die. (laughs) Is that what you said? I don't want to die. That's not what I said, but (laughs) we'll go with that. (laughs) I don't want to die. On your die. Oh! On your die. (laughs) <laughs> so, okay uh, Shannon Zara spots a lizard person they're taking there over are, there are a lot of exotics here some of them uh, like there's a uh, there's a hooker on uh, that woman's arm and uh, he's been modified to look like uh, the one of the evening newscasters, like a celebrity. <laughs> and behind him, there is a uh, lizard man in a suit, and uh, he's uh, and he's strumming a guitar. I hate rich people. <laughs> Why are they in the kitchen? I'm gonna be rich one day. You can see them through the doorway. The net uh, on the planet. In the kitchen. That's okay. why you had to make the perception roll. Do I know them? No. Okay. Well, I don't care. <laughs> Blackmail. I'm waiting for the diversion to raise Timmy up. Well, you had a. Um, you had a wager. With Waldo, 
you remember about uh what about uh the uh lizard people and their relationship with the corpos <laughs> I forgot about that. I do. <laughs> that, that, that was just said that, yep, there, there was a wager. Can I take a picture? A... Like, Yes, you can. Yeah, I want to snap a picture. Yeah, you pull out your agent. <laughs> you take the picture. You take a picture. And um, the uh, little... Um, Say cheese! AI intelligence inside your agent says... Ooh, uh, that's some bad lighting. You want me to correct that for you, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's going to turn them back into humans. Oh, uh, you want me to change him back into a human? No. For you, sweetheart? Because that looks... Well, because that's kind of a garish shade of green. I want the garish okay. shade of green. I said, Okay. Now stop talking to me. I'm busy. <laughs> Just like I scream at Siri and she tells me I'm not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and your agent says, well, harumph. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's like my Siri, she has a British accent and sounds like Buffy. I'm trying to imagine what a British accent on Sarah Michelle Geller would even be. No! <laughs> oh, sorry. Buffy is somebody on Twitch. I should have specified. Oh, uh... okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it took me a minute. <laughs> she turn made me turn left into a car park the other day. Not a parking lot, a car <laughs> park. All right. <laughs> So uh, that's been that was resolved, and uh, back to Red Eye. Hi, uh, Nick. You ready to pull the trigger? Ready to pull the trigger now? Oh, Nick is here. Right. Hello, Nick. We're just being scuffed. We're being extremely scuffed, even more so than regularly. Um, all of you who and are I... visiting, uh, uh, the. Sh uh, when these guys play Pathfinder on the weekend, that's the big show. That's the important one. I don't know. This one's pretty fun. So we want you to come back here too. Do you need what Zara exactly? for a bit? No. Zara's got to go pee pee. Um, yeah, we've been going for a little more than half an hour. You want to take a five-minute break, everyone? Well, the person who controls our break screen just left, so, uh, yeah, we can. <laughs> Did she put uh, it on a break can? screen? Huh? No. Um, we are not currently on a break screen. Good point. All right, let's just, okay. let's just keep going. Let's keep yeah, going. Keep going. Thank you for thinking of that. <laughs> All right. Arky, uh, what exactly is Red Eye doing to wreck this party? Well, you see, Red Eye hits one button and it locks the doors. Like, all the doors slam shut. Okay. And the high, and the high motherfuckers aren't going to know what's going on. Because, you know, they're high and they got hookers. Um... And then they're going to get a nice little bath. It's going right. to start raining. Okay. Is that everywhere in the house or only certain spots? Where are they in the main? Is there a main room or are they all over the house? Um. Yeah, there are sprinklers all over the house. But are they are all the people that can attack us in? One room, or are they spread throughout the house? Uh, the people who can attack you, the security guards, they're spread throughout the house. Hell shit. Okay, I lock all the doors mm -hmm. in the house then. Except for the kitchen, floor. please. Except for the kitchen. At least the, 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 the way out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's... All Sorry, right, this is a very... Like get out now. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, do you uh, shove T-Mare 
do you shove Tiamat into the dumb waiter? I don't shove them in there. I just kind of shove them into the cart. I I I I I, I... gently nudge is what he's. No, he Thank kicks... you. No, he kicks the dude straight in the ass right into the <laughs> dumb waiter. <laughs> don't break the bottles. The basement is the one place that it's not raining. But uh, Timir, yes, he goes along. Uh, he goes along uh, very, very willingly. He doesn't fight you at all on this. Like and I said, I gave him two bottles and say, just, just in case. Are these for me? I do not. I do not drink. No, don't worry, then. It's just, just all, like I said, they're, they're good luck charms. Okay. <laughs> and he goes up. Yeah, and I'll start taking the... Or uh, taking the... The, 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 the spider, spider leg <laughs> thing full. Of, uh, I got bottles underneath, and I've got bottles on top. <laughs> and just starting to traipse it up the steps. Okay, you get upstairs and you find a lot of uh, very uh, angry guests. Um, as you're going upstairs, you see that the uh, VR gog goggles that they handed out to everyone and is um, editing uh, their site. Um, it is now displaying arrows on the fl gl glowing arrows on the floor that lead everyone to the emergency exits. And it is editing out the uh, unwelcome rain inside the house so they can't see it, but they can feel it. <laughs> That's got to be a, 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 a downer for some of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, you hear, uh, yeah, you come upstairs into the den uh, where the lizard man is playing on a piano, uh, was just sitting down to start playing a piano. And uh, there's someone who's laying on the piano, complaining about having a complaining about having a bad trip because he feels wet. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would like to see. Uh, no, you're not even. Your teammates did such a good job at uh, creating a distraction and a path out for you. You don't eat cavalry. Doesn't even have to roll for this. He can just <laughs> he can just beeline it straight to the kitchen and go outside if that's what you choose to do. That's what I choose to do. I may I, I may as I'm passing I'll 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 grab maybe a bottle or two from the top, not from the bottom, because those are ours. But I'll just kind of pass a pass a bottle or two out to the people as I'm just like, here you go, enjoy. <laughs> Always making good with the people, even the rich fuckers. <laughs> it's an added distraction. <laughs> I These like bottles it. are not used. <laughs> okay, uh, Shannon, mm -hmm. is Zara pushing? Zara has Tamir up in the kitchen now. Is she pushing him out the back door? What I want to do is I want to see if there's a spare chef hat and like chef smock, and try to throw that on him real fast. And then try to rush him out the back door. If there's like a big commotion going on, rush him out with the crowd. If you spend a, a another luck point, the answer is yes. There is a chef's hat and an apron. How many of those do I have? How many luck points? Yeah. Um, it depends on your luck stat. It which should be at the top of your character sheet with your reflex and your intelligence. Oh, yeah, I have seven. I'll spend one. Okay. You now have six remaining of your seven luck points. And those I've got five. After the adventure. Four. Okay. Do you ever get those back? After the adventure, yes. Okay. So, I think you just said that, and I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, I'm... I, apparently my audio is terrible and I keep cutting out. That's okay. So, yeah. so after Except he's that. wrapped up in all this chef stuff, I want to usher him out the back door and then kind of like 
as I'm shielding him, so it looks like, oh, we're all just trying to get out safely, I'll kind of shield him over to the car. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, you're able to get him to the car um, without incident. Uh, Red Eye is in the car waiting for you. And uh, you see a lot of uh, vendors and other employees have uh, filled the have filled the backyard now and they are setting up um, new demonstra uh, new demonstration pieces of mining equipment, drilling equipment, uh, um, weapons, new drones, all all sorts of weird things. So they don't so even give a shit that, that the party's kind of over they're just moving the party to the parking lot. Not yet. Uh, these were demonstration pieces that were being set up for the upper brass and for Sav Oil to just show off for the guests. So they've okay, been setting so the these added up for the vendors. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so if Calvary's not with us yet, I'm gonna radio to him. He'd be like, We got we have to move, man. People are moving out to the parking lot. We got I'm almost I'm up, I'm up the steps. I'm I, I'm 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 I, uh, yeah, yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> Move your ass, boy scout. <laughs> uh, I I've been uh, I've been talking to the 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 ha 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 ha. No, I a stroke. <laughs> Do you need help? Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. As cavalry comes out uh the back door. Uh, he gets bumped by a couple of different, uh, security officers who are running in past him. Hey, watch where you're going. This is expensive stuff. Oh, shit. They completely ignore you. However, and somebody... Uh -oh, proceeds um, to pucker. Somebody who is on the back porch does put a hand on, uh, Calvary's shoulder from behind him. And says, hey, Navarro, remember oh, me? It's Jack from high school. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, what'd you call me? Navarro, Navarro. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're in ROTC together. Dude, I, I, can, smell, I, I can smell his breath all the way in the car. That. Act like you don't know him, Calvary, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Here. here, here, take take this bottle and just go. You got to get the fuck out of here, man. Hurry up. He did roll necessary. You bribed your way out, <laughs> okay, and you reached the limo. Um, Red Eye, you're still plugged in. I am going You're still jacking into the net architecture. I am going to try to uh, escape without alerting the black ice. Real okay. quick, real quick before you escape, are the gates to leave this place open? Can I Yes. Okay. Yes, yes Do they your are. thing, red eye. Okay, red eye, you've got a choice now. Sorry, get you out of here and help me load this stuff up. <laughs> I do you that. can jack out safely, or you can jack out unsafely. If you jack out unsafely, it's just powering I am down. So, so and immature. You get, and you can get away, but it means <laughs> that the black ice get a free attack on you as you jack out. If you jack out safely, stop then laughing. They don't, but the other net runner has noticed you now and is going to try to come after you. So it's going to be an initiative roll. You can get away in time. So if I do it safely, I just get noticed. If you do noticed. it safely, you're going to take some damage. No, no, no. If you jack out unsafely, you're going to definitely take some damage. Okay. If you jack out safely, it's going to take you a full turn to do. And you and they may or may not catch up with you. Hey, 
Hello. Hello, Munchkin. Um, we're going to do it unsafely. Can I... One of my programs is my armor program. And that lowers any brain damage by four. Yeah. Okay. You have two instant. You have two armor programs loaded up, correct? Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, first, the saber tooth. Uh, is going to deal 66 damage to a program. This program will be destroyed if it does enough damage to derez the program. So this is going to be targeting your asp, your titanoboa. Oh, seven, seven, fourteen. Ooh. 24 points of damage. And your asp has only 15 res. So yeah, the the saber-tooth uh, tiger program pounces on the asp and uh, bites into its neck and asp uh, just splinters into binary code. That's bad. And uh your and uh that slot in your cyber deck is kind of smoking now. The Should've other is the safely. Raven. Uh <laughs> it derezes a single defender program and it deals 1d6 damage to the netrunner's brain. This is when your uh, armor kicks in. Let's see. And uh, yet yeah, it's only zapping your brain for four points of damage. So your armor negates that. It also it also de single program, so it's going to derez your second instance of armor. Okay. So you've got no armor protection, but now you're out. Now you've escaped. Good thing I had a second asp. Yeah. I look at Red Eye sweating and I'm like, trouble? <laughs> are, are we good to go? Maybe Timmy will give you a hug. Who's driving? Isn't that Calvary usually? I was just I was the one driving. Are we done loading yeah. up the booze? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just looking at my cyber deck going... How am I going to fix this? We're about to get a lot of money. Well, a little okay. bit of money. Uh, Calvary is driving out. Uh, is he driving like a bat out of hell? Or is he driving casually? I'm going to drive oh, yeah. casually. Of course he is. Because we're not in a hurry. <laughs> we don't want to bring attention to ourselves. Maybe once we're out of there, we could drive like a bat out of hell. <laughs> The Millennium fucking Falcon, y'all. We can outrun anything. Oh, I'd, I'd rather he drive... I don't know, Chewie. Fly casual. <laughs> Great. Disney's gonna ax us again. <laughs> okay. This is... This is what I'm interested in having you roll. I want you to... To roll drive land vehicle. But instead of adding your tech... Stat, I want you to instead add your cool stat. Ah! And you only... Uh, the DV is going to be low. You only have to beat a 9. Oh, I could have I could have done that without a roll. Unless you roll a 1, then we're fucked. Yeah. Then you die. Nope, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't. It is your banks. So I, I, I rolled a 7... My cool is a 7, so that takes me up to 14. And my land vehicle uh, is tech. So, so yes, yeah, so you said uh, instead of tech, um, a cool, so a 14 total. 
Okay, so, wow, you're cool as a seven? Yeah. I didn't realize it was that high. I didn't, I didn't either. It's was... higher than mine by one. Red Eye go, you hear Red Eye go, I can't believe he actually has cool. Okay, I'm kind of thinking. Very... He's cool. We're just gaslighting him into thinking he's not. <laughs> think I'm, I think I'm going to be uh, playing this like Jubilee from the X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> okay do you drive like a bat out of hell to no. uh, escape the valley or do you uh, do what you guys oh. talked about earlier and uh, loot some of the uh, grape orchard plants while no while he's driving I want to keep lookout to see if we're being followed if I notice anything of the sort like that um I, as a character, would love to get some of those grapes. However, I think it's a bad fucking idea that we push our luck. I would agree. All right. I just want to go home I'm... and fix my deck. <laughs> as a matter of fact, it does look like one of the patrolling SUVs um, is driving behind you. Okay, it so... Does look you're being followed. I'm going to let Calvary know. We are being followed. Once we get far enough, I'm going to keep an eye on this this car. And once we get far enough, if we'll make a decision on what we need to do. I don't want to start shooting while we're still in the valley. They're going to have backup. Take a couple right oh, turns and see if they follow that's... us in a circle. <laughs> Uh, there are no turns here in the valley. It's just either straight or backwards. Uh, no, I'm going straight. Let, let's see what this baby can do. <laughs> uh, R R Red Eye, did you have? Do you have something to say? I want to fire the guns. No, no, no. We wait. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We wait. You, you, you can. You, you can. You can. You can get ready for them, but you just. How's Timmy feeling? He, I'm glad you asked, because I was about to tell you, he is in now full panic. He starts screaming. Let's hand him a bottle of vodka, and I'm going to say, what is, what, why are you so panic? We are out. We are going to keep you safe. I jump no, in the suicide door me. gun. They found me. You recognize this vehicle? No. Okay, so if we shoot the vehicle with our big cannon on the roof and is not security, we have problem, no? I mean, do you think we should fire upon them? He said, "No, no, just shoot me now. Shoot, don't let me take, don't let them take me." Okay, well, if you come down to it, I will put bullet in your brain. However, right now we are not going to do this. We do not panic. Okay. Uh, Calvary, how fast are you driving? Like I said, let's see what this baby can do. Hold on, okay. hold on, Timmy. You you buckle up. We all know Red Eye don't have nobody putting a cap in somebody's head. All right. Uh, now give me that D10 plus tech plus drive land vehicle roll. I say to Timmy, you ever played Russian roulette? I'm going to elbow red eye. <laughs> say, if this kid has a heart attack, we're not getting our 2,000. All right, so I rolled an 8. And my uh, the only thing I've got uh, for, this, for that is the stat uh, for uh, land vehicle tech. Um, or, let's see, where is it? No, you said la drive, right? Yeah, drive where is it, land tech? vehicle. So you're saying I it's shouldn't fuck with Timmy? Stat, Timmy? Your tech stat plus drive land vehicle plus your ten sider. Where's my drive? And uh, oh, there it is, six. Okay, so six Timmy plus five plus eight. In your face, my eye. Nineteen. What? Oh, nineteen. Okay, nineteen is a good roll. This is, I'm going to make an opposed roll. And I don't think that these guys actually even have that skill. 
was no a doubt. shitty security. Basically stormtroopers. Let's see how much we can get muted by Disney tonight, y'all. <laughs> Baby Yoda! Okay, Cavalry, you beat a 10, didn't you? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, yeah, you take off, and um, then there's a delay, and then the security SUV takes off and uh, kind of spins out. Doesn't get a lot of traction. By the time it finds itself, you're already way down the... We're already way down the road. You're halfway out of the valley before they start to speed up. And I'm just going, yeah! <laughs> So they're still the following cannon? us? I want to fire they're trying the unsuccessfully. Okay. But as you, go as you go up the incline to get out of the valley and over the hill, um, you disappear from sight and they lose you. I'm going to pat Timmy on the shoulder. I told you we would get you out. So when can we get our 2000? No, don't, 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 don't. Check the sky to see if there's any drones following us. <laughs> well, I can it do perception. And Rusky. Uh, no perception necessary. The flying drone, it did move in your direction. But it has a limited range. It it can only go out uh, about as far as uh, the signal that uh, Red Eye was using to hack. Okay, so uh, uh, Timmy. So it only went so far, and then it stopped. Timmy, do you have any tracking tech in your body? Now hold a knife up. Pull a knife out. <laughs> oh no, I I I disabled all of that months ago. Okay, I will trust you, so I do not have to do Russian surgery is today. There, is, is there any on his clothes? Must, well, we have the, the smock and the chef hat. I mean, he won't be completely naked if we throw his clothes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I think it's funny. Yes, that's exactly what you do. <laughs> <laughs> this poor kid. Oh, my God. Um, it is, uh, dark, uh, when you drive into Night City. Um, it, Night City is the only bright spot on the horizon because all of the electrical infrastructure for surrounding communities is dead. And, uh, there's, uh, very little, uh, starlight or moonlight getting in through the clouds. So it is really, really dark out on these roads. But uh, Night City is the beacon on the horizon in front of you. And it gets brighter and brighter as you spend the hour uh, driving towards it. Uh, you are not stopped along the way, and you're able to pull up right in front of the headquarters of Petrochem. Awesome. Well, Tim, welcome to Night City. Welcome to the headquarters of Petrochem. I will actually escort him inside to make sure that he's meeting someone he trusts. Because I want my goddamn money. You grab, motherfucker! Put that shit <laughs> in my hand! <laughs> if that money doesn't show, you're gonna owe me, owe me, owe! Timmy, if if I walk you inside... Oh, I'm losing it. If I... Uh, now I'm fucking Dracula. If I walk you inside... Blah, blah, blah! When if I take you in get inside, uh, Blah, blah, blah! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, euro dollars. You, you, you spend euro dollars here, yes? The eddies? Yes. Yes, Petrokim has many. I have Zara, many. make sure you I have... try to get something out of Petrokim too for delivering him. I would like to have payment before I turn you over. I mean, you understand. If that money doesn't show, I'm going to give you a third eye, motherfucker. I've been in the. I was in the net too long, so I'm kind of. I did not have money on me. I did not. I did not bring my agent. Could be tracked. My deck is fried, man. You better get me that money. How do you expect me to? I just met you. I want my two hundred. My two thousand. Red eye. If I take about... you inside, Petro can pay us. No. 
Yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to actually help him out of the vehicle. I'm not trying to be a total fucking dickwad. Even though Zara kind of is. And I'm going to escort him inside. But I'm not going to let him go till I get my money. <laughs> Security recognizes this guy. They're like, hey, hey, isn't that the, is that the guy? Yeah, that's the guy. Hey, you're the guy. I don't know who you are, but you're the guy. <laughs> I delivered the guy. You can have the guy once I have my money. We want money. Okay. Uh, yeah, they uh, show you both into the lobby, and uh, a few execs um, appear just, like, out of nowhere. Uh, one of them um, hands... One of them hands you a suitcase with exactly 2,000 uh, euro dollars in it. Wait, wait, wait. We agreed on 5,000. He told me I'd get 5,000 if I got him out of that place. I but delivered I, him I, from Sob Oil. Is she by herself or did we go in with her? If not, I'm in the car laughing into her mic. In the car I'm ready to drive mic. away. When when she gets right. back, so. Okay, cavalry is I, in the car. Uh, Zora's by all, herself. All she can hear is me laughing in her earpiece. I was promised by this young man five thousand, if I got him out of Sob Oil, and I did. Oh, tell him if we don't get the five thousand, we'll give him back the Sob Oil. No, I, I'm just gonna say what I said so far. Okay, I think that this is going to be another persuasion roll. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Either persuasion, either persuasion or business. She doesn't have any. I don't any... have business. Persuasion okay. plus cool or. Uh, yep. It's the points that you have in persuasion, which are going to be okay. less than eight, plus your cool stat. Well, I rolled a one. Oh, oh Jesus! Jesus. Rolled a one. Okay. Do you even need to know my total? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so I got 8, 9, 15 total, this... but I rolled a 1. The first one of the campaign! Okay, this is what you... I want you to roll that 10 cider again, and then subtract your roll on the 10 cider from your total. What did I say? 15? 15. 15. Yeah. Here, she's going to roll 10. 9! <laughs> Okay, a six. A six is your end total. It's not good enough. No, 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 no. I I rolled a six, so my end total is nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, still not good enough. Fuck. <laughs> um. The executive the money, are we? laughs in your face and says. Uh, you are a bad liar and a bad negotiator, but you're a good driver. Take what you can and get out. Zara will kind of shrug and be like, mm, okay, and walk back to the car. Not even give Timmy a second glance. She got her money. She's out. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, back in the car, um, if Calvary is listening to, on the radio... Uh, somebody is reporting that uh, there were that Sav Oil hosted a wet and wild themed party <laughs> this evening as a delightful surprise to its guests. <laughs> and um, a, the uh, wet uh, business suit. An evening gown is going to be the next uh, fashion trend in tomorrow's screen sheets. I hate it. <laughs> Net runner on the planet. I fucking hate rich people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How, how, how many bottles okay. of booze did we get? Did we get out of there? I was going to ask you guys. How about each of you roll me? Um, two six ciders, and we'll add all of those together, plus the two bottles that Tiamat was carrying. Who's speaking to me? Oh, he didn't take his bottles. 
No, he doesn't drink. No, he left him in the car. And there's also a wet spot where he was sitting. Ew. All right, man. Get the bleach. I try to go back in and say, you're paying. And I stop because we got paid. Ten. Eleven. Ooh. Seven. <laughs> Ten, eleven, seven, and two. Thirty. And that's an even 30. Even 30 bottles. Yes! Hey, Bro Bro um, doesn't need to know we got that many. He just wanted yeah. one. Let's sell the rest. Let's put... Okay. I want at least 15 for myself! I'll take, <laughs> I'll take two for myself. Are they the big, big, like, handles? Well, a standard uh, The fan stand was it? But they do have the distinctive Russian caps that uh, peel off instead of twisting because it's um, made the assumption that you're going to drink the entire bottle in one sitting. I'll take two because I like money more than I like booze. I like booze, but I like money more. I need more. to make rent, but let's sell the rest. I take two and we'll sell the rest. Well, we have to deliver at least one bottle to Paranoid Guy. Hey, man, rent's Kill two, Kill Roy Beta. I will, yeah. uh... Let's give him Arky, our... I will... Arky, you are being paid uh, three uh, programs for your cyber deck that he's building for you. So uh, one of those can be a replacement for the Black Ice that got and the other two, I'll let you pick out offline. Okay. I'll give you some options. Okay. So, I got the three All programs. Right. Plus, I got 2,000. Eddie, I hope you guys had fun. I got all the money because nope. I did all the work. You're welcome. Nope. <laughs> I, had, I had to talk to a traumatized young man. That is worth my cut. Hey. I came up with the next fashion trend for a bunch of rich fuckers. I have the case. What are you going to do about it? The point is well taken. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to split it evenly, but if you want to give me guff... You know it's what I do. <laughs> you know it's what I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Thor. <laughs> I had to. This I the... lost an ass program, Thor. <laughs> so that's. Oh my god, that's 666.66 eddies each. <laughs> Thing I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So, um, that is the end of the adventure. All of your luck points get uh, replenished. Whoop, whoop. All the luck points that you spent. Everybody's reputation goes up by one point. Whoop. And that's right. Uh, in terms of the experience type of experience, which is called improvement points. Uh, I'm going to award you 50. The group accomplished the mission goals extremely well with few stellar moments. Do you say 50, five, zero? Yes. Okay. Five, zero improvement points. And you can use that to, uh, let's see. That will not be enough for you to buy your next rank of your roll ability. So you could save those up, or you could spend them on your skills. And if you want to improve a skill, I'll tell you how much it's going to cost you to do that. I'm happy with my skills right now. How much does it cost to buy a rank? To go from rank 5 to rank 6 is going to cost you... 360. Hmm, I'll save them. How much money do we get off all the vodka? 
Um, because you're selling so many of them, I'm going to say, uh, maybe 50 Eddie's a bottle. Here, let me roll a 10 cider. Let's see. Yeah, 50 Eddie's a bottle. Because that, no, no, no. Uh, because earlier we were talking about a, a this is the top shelf stuff, we're, so it's expensive, it should be going for a thousand eddies a bottle. Let's Whoa! Say a five, yeah, let's say 500 eddies a bottle. Okay, so I took two, Red Eye took two, um, <clears throat> Kilroy took one, did you take any? You took two? I took two. So we're selling 23 Seven. bottles at 500? Yep. 11, five... That is that is what a fixer will will buy them from you for. Uh, um, if you want to hold on to them, you might get a better price later trying to sell them at a night market or something. For yeah, each let's of us, slip. That's 3,833.33. Big money, big money. I, I got to pay rent. Baby's got to pay rent. I'm selling my bottles if you guys want to keep your bottles. I'm taking my. I'm, 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 I'm keeping mine because I promised one to, uh, to. <laughs> His girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I uh, sold yeah, the... mine. I sold mine too. I gotta pay rent, okay. motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you guys want a little insight? Sure. All you, ever, all you had to do was reach across the bar and grab a bottle. No one would have stopped you. <laughs> we wanted a case. We wouldn't be us if we didn't make it fun, baby. We had to shoot. Or higher. more difficult than what it needed to be. <laughs> that would have been like a five minute show and we would have been done. Yeah. Instead we're uh we're not at not quite two hours yet. Like an hour and a half. That's good. Nine nine eddies. I'm happy with that. That'll buy me a couple burgers and some rent. And I got booze. And I didn't have to be friend to a kid very long. <laughs> How much did we get, Zara? Total we got four thousand four hundred and ninety nine point ninety nine. Divided by two, right? Cause no, Boy that's Scout. for each of us. Because I divided everything before I wrote it down for just me. How much was that? 4,499.99. Holy shit, that's quite the haul for an adventure. And Calvary has 666.66 plus vodka. <laughs> Hell. That will buy you a lot of pizza at Buck a Slice. What's that? That will buy you a lot of pizza at Buck a Slice. <laughs> <laughs> like three slices. Yeah, I think that Arky gets that reference. Oh, Arky's good. Because you played 2077. Red Eye, Red Eye, yep. Red Eye's going to walk around with a little food baby for a month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so are we calling it an evening, dear Twitch? Uh, yes. I do not have any outro music queued up because mm -hmm. I was running late. That's totally okay. fine. And mm -hmm. you got to send it to me first so I can put it in the thing. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. But, uh... so, so plugs, y'all can catch me at Ms. M-I-Z-Z -Z Direction on Twitch and on TikTok at Ms. Direction TTV. You can catch this guy right here, old Arky, at Arky76 on Twitch. And guess what? I'm Arky76 on TikTok, too. So, uh, we hope you've enjoyed this lovely episode of Cyberpunk Red. And we hope that you all tune in on Saturday... For our other show that we do, it's not the top, well, it is the flagship right now. But, and uh, please, put, yep, go ahead. Uh, Tune in for the show on Saturday mm -hmm. when you play Pathfinder. For Pathfinder, our top 
our 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 main show. And we're, we're branching I, out. I was just gonna say real quick, if you find us on Apple Podcasts under Roll Die for Adventure, please give us a five star rating. A uh, review is helpful too, but a five star rating at least, and that's really gonna help us out. So we appreciate each and every one of you. We love you all. Come back, please. Jason, anything? Do any call? No, out? I don't have any handles. I, 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 I just, I, I just uh, uh, join them on their streams from time to time, and I'm yeah. on Pathfinder. So, yep, you can catch him on Pathfinder. You can catch Jason me. on Pathfinder <laughs> and our Fortnite streams on our yes. Fortnite channels. Streams. He he plays, uh, yeah. he plays he plays the horrible bard on Pathfinder. Uh, he does what well, he does well on the perceptions and the stat checks. Uh, he ain't so good on the on the attack rolls. When it comes to battle, old Arwen takes all the shit, man. <laughs> all right, we will be back in. Probably two weeks. Uh, we're going to try to make this a regular Thursday thing on Twitch, and uh, the VODs will get uploaded onto YouTube at some point later, probably a couple days later. And I think I've got an adventure picked out for the next time we get together. Uh, John John the Wise, um, who makes a lot of cyberpunk uh, red uh, videos on YouTube, he wrote an adventure that... I'm going to run for these knuckleheads. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, we'll get some more feedback for John John, which is always good. Nice. And that's all I got. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.